is Ray Tarot back with another celebrity reading. Today we're going to do the continuation of Pete and Kim, but we're going to add Kanye into the mix. So I sat down Pete and now I brought in Kanye. I did Pete first because I know Pete has a little bit of low self-esteem, so we did him first. Notice I changed my rock from the Rose Quartz to, Obsid to Black Obsidian because we need some protection in here. <laughs> um, Kanye is the karmic. I think we figured that out. And um, you're watching the Cheese channel, by the way. Sorry, I got into it really quickly. Yeah, you're watching the Cheese channel where I give all the gossip to your personal connection, to the Spirit Babies connection, and to the celebrities. All right. So, um, yeah, I wanted to do this really quickly because I don't want to keep Kanye's energy in my room. But it is going to be, I pre-shuffled the cards even because I know that he can be quite intimidating to even Kimmy. So, um, he's not a monster. Please don't go on his page or do anything mean because, you know, it's many of you. I know you love Kim. I do too. She, I mean, she's my birthday twin. <laughs> but, um, you know, but they're all human and they all have their own lives and Kim and Kanye do share kids. But, um, you know, I wanted to just pre-shuffle everything quickly so that that way Kim could just be in the room and she could go on her way because I've collected her energy and I want to give it back. And I want to definitely give Kanye his. I'm an empath, and so after a few hours, I will start to feel all of these celebrities stay in my room, even though they are living, and I don't want to keep them here. Um, so therefore, I pre-shuffled a song for Kim and Kanye, like I did Pete, because it's only fair. Let me move the camera just a little bit back so that you can see it all. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> tilting like their connection <laughs> but um yeah so kim says right here um 50 cents she said if I, if you were if i was your best friend i would want you around all the time and i would want you around all the time either he is or he ain't your man please he's your still friend if i was your best friend i feel like she's friends only him again he won't get it though let's see what kanye has to say I'm sprung. She got me doing the dishes. Well, I mean, they're famous and they don't do dishes. Well, sometimes they do. But in this particular situation, they don't do dishes. She got me doing the dishes. Anything she wants for some kisses, I'm cooking for her when she's hungry. That's true. I've seen him energetically do that. Uh, all she doing is like she wants to cut me off. Yeah, she's not even my main lady. I've been thinking about her lady lately. He's coming off kind of arrogant. Everyone up for the 90s kids and the 80s knows I'm sprung, right? Yeah, I know that song. I gotta get away from her. Yeah, so he's kind of coming off already cocky and arrogant. Kanye, I, it's not even like that. I'm being nice here and giving you your, your show time. You're still being mean. All right, I pulled some energy to see what's going on with them. So let's do this first, okay? Kimmy says that she's right now reconciliating with her boo. And like I told you in the beginning, if you watch the Kim and Pete reading first, the secrets that none of the two of them know they were with one another. Uh, Kim did not want to tell Kanye that she had a boyfriend. She still does. I kind of feel like he's her fiance. Um, and... Uh, their love is just so special. And Pete did not know that she was still legally married to Kanye. That's the secret. She walked away from dignity. So she's giving him a 5D explanation. Because he won't hear it in the 3D. He's so blocked in the crown. I left you for dignity. I'm awakening. I understood my purpose and it's not to be with you. I got my lesson. I surrendered to the divine and I'm now with my twin. I'm like channeling that now creativity and he makes her feel creative him and um pete and kanye pete and kim so so many k's pete and <laughs> pete and kim literally like go on like fun adventures i know that you may say well she's old and he's young energetically she's still in her 20s and they have the best time there's a plane flying above me again yeah because they're flying literally they have the best time all right let's see what does kanye have to say before i go into the unspoken words okay he wants to say that kimmy i'm in solitude right now you broke my heart but i'm abundant he's coming off again very cocky i want to take you on a date night like kanye she doesn't want to be on a date night 
and the separation is killing him, he is hoping that she can come back and they can have some desirable sex. Because I feel like it worked before. Look what I say. Guilt wounds. He has some guilt wounds of himself growing up as a child. I feel like Kanye was molested. I know it's not for me to say. But I feel like sex really does speak to Kanye. And he feels like with money, he can do a lot of things and buy a lot of things. Um, so, yeah. And he kind of, like, tries to spoil her. He also has mom wounds. I'm sure everybody recognizes this. He misses Donda. He does a lot. And I don't even feel energetically that she's very proud of what he's been doing. Donda knew that Kanye was never really up for his elevator to the top. But she protected her son. And I don't like channeling the past because I'm medium and I can do it very well. I did it for Robert in the last one. Um, Donda has a little bit more of a stronger energy that doesn't really like to get removed. I've seen her many times when I played the album. And so I had to stop because I started to channel her. But quickly, I can. She's just very disappointed. And I don't think that she hates Kim. She used to. But I don't think that she hates Kim. If anything, she's apologizing to Kim. Like, I'm so sorry for what I thought about you. I'm so, so sorry. And if you could accept my apology, then please accept it. Because the way Kanye has behaving, been behaving is unacceptable. Yeah. Let's see, what would you like to say? I'll be fair and pull like two. I did Robert for six, but I will do Donda for two. What would Donda like to quickly say to Kanye if she was here today? If you need to repair something, use gold to be creative. See the value in mending. You see, she doesn't want to fight. Your endurance will bring you success. Never defend yourself. Remain present in your heart. So she's like, why do you need to feel the need to bully someone to defend yourself? Just calmly respect the guy. If you don't like him, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You don't have to be so bullyish and so mean. She definitely did not have that kind of heart. But his ego's in the way. Let's see, what does Kimmy want to do? Want to say to Kanye? I'll put it over here. She says, I know that triggering you, triggering, I heard triggering you. Triggering is part of this journey. It's no fun. But it's a perspective, an opportunity for healing rather than automatic victim mode. She's so mature. I know she talks like a valley girl, but she's so mature. I can sometimes feel unappreciated and take it for granted by you. I should have walked away many times before for good, but I didn't. Wow. Wow, Kimmy. I don't want to miss you. I don't want to miss you. I prefer to think of us as one because because they have the children together. Even if you aren't present in my physical world right now. I f it felt safe to open my heart to you. Then what? Was it a game for you? It wasn't for me. Because of the way he's acted. He promised to be her protector in the Chris Humphrey stages. Before they even were together, Kanye was her best friend. And... They used to speak about a lot of things. Kanye knows a lot of secrets that even her sisters don't know. Her fears, her desires, her manifestations, her journal. They would script together. Imagine scripting and manifesting with your karmic. That's so deep. What does Kanye have to say about that? I know these cards I don't see before. I just shuffle them and they flip on this side and then I flip it back. So I'm just as shocked as you. I feel heartbroken. Don't you... Don't think I don't care. I do. I just feel stuck right now. Yeah, he doesn't even know why he's acting like this. But like I said before, it's his past life karma. So his old soul is coming out more than his newer soul, his reformed self. He will get back into his wither rhythm. And when he does, a lot of people in Hollywood won't want to work with him. But he will get back to his rhythm. You made me feel something. This is confusing. That's usually how it is on this journey. I have deep, unresolved wounds. You can't fix them. I must do it. I'm just not sure how. I mean, I said it. One more. I still want you. I'm fighting my feelings. He misses his best friend. That's all. And he's fighting and fighting. And when he stops fighting, he will realize the way he treated Pete and Kim were both wrong. And he will apologize privately. And him and Pete will get over it. And they'll be friends and men. And everyone in Hollywood would be like, what the hell? How could Pete forgive him? Because Pete has a higher level mind. Pete acts like 42 and Kim acts like 20, 28. And vice versa. Where in the flesh, Kim is 42 and Pete is 28. But they act like each other's ages in the, in the 5D. It's so funny. 
retreat. So Kim is telling Kanye that she's right now on a retreat and she's unavailable to pick up any of his phone calls. But if it's pertaining to the kids, her publicist, her stylist, and her assistant can help that. Stay optimistic about your love life. She really wants love for him and she's hoping that he can find that. We've got one more. New love. Did I say it? She has a new love. She's okay with that. A new person has um, stirred your romantic Yes, car honk. <laughs> um, and their spirits are happy for Pete. Yes. That is her new love. He's um, hoping, Kanye, that he said, is it safe for you to love? He's like, is it safe? Is it good? I just want my kids to be okay. He loves his kids. He really, really does. He's hoping for reconciliation because he always wanted that family he didn't have. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Kanye. That's not your soul treat. You didn't sign that contract. And honey moon he wants to go out with kim again and hopefully there could be some type of divine connection in the back he says that um i will wait for a sir a sign from you right here I'll wait for a sign from you and i love you unconditionally now kanye's higher self is starting to speak rather than his ego it's like i love you kim go on with pete have a life have a romance i'm happy for you i just want to make sure that we can be together as a family again i feel like he feels that pete is going to take away kim and the kids and that he won't get to see them for christmases and have this merged family but that's not true pete definitely wants to have kanye over for these family moments that very very love he loves them he loves the kids too just being near you is intoxicating that's what kim wants to say she says i want to tell you how i feel and she will she will write him a letter privately and if it gets out of hand she'll publicly take screenshots herself and that's why she's making this show to clear her name in a very classy like way you speak to me through music yeah because he did that whole donda thing where he cut her voice off from the snl and made it sound like he loves she still loves him <laughs> for those that don't know go watch it all right, let's see the final one. This was very quick because, you know, I don't have shade and no hate for Kanye. I always grew up loving him. A lot of us in the era of the 90s and the 80s did. But, um, you know, sad to see. Kim says that only time will tell. And that acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept the things as they are. There's no point in trying to change what that's what's beyond our control because, you know, Pete is her twin and she can't change that. They're here now in this universe. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, love and acceptance. Each other, you are, wait, love and accept each other. She talks fast like me. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Healing, she's encouraging him to do some healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by a white light. Feel your, your relationship being healed at this very moment. And behind this says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. She wants him to go on and have, find that divine peace and inner health. And Kanye clapped back and said, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to events. So he's like, there's a blessing in the turmoil. Yeah. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith. He's very religious and he's just wishing her the best now. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So he just wants, first he thought it was skepticism, but now he's like, you know what? If this is what you really want, then don't make me feel, make you feel bad. Go on from deep within and I bless, God bless your union, okay? Yeah. Well, that's all we got for today. That was really nice. I thought it would come out sour, but it surprised me too. Um, Yeah, he, he popped off with the, the, the arrogance and the ego, but he ended up being really nice towards the end. Kanye is stepping in his higher divine self. Good for you, Kanye. Yeah, it snaps. Good for you. Um, And if you like this reading, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Comment, don't forget, and also subscribe, like I said. Bye!